Ahoj. So, 1x500. Let's go. Castle Necro. I think I'll ban Necro straight off the bat here. Stronghold Tower, much better. Okay. I do think tower slightly better, maybe. Timer? Right, right. Had this kill test one still. Or maybe three, four Polish players plays uh, mainly duo. Yeah, I mean, it's. Nah, it's probably more than that, because I think it's Gongwazi, there's Glue, there's DJ, there's like Bad Boys. There, there's definitely more than four, I think, but. Gungwazi top get for Naga Dwellings week one. Yeah, I don't think I can be that skilled at the game to be honest. With how many gremlins did he have? He had like 400 gremlins as well. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Okay, I don't wanna go too high here. So 400, 900 gold for blue tower. Then I go Fafnir, of course. Artifact as well. Phantom also plays duel. Yeah, I mean, even even Phantom, he obviously doesn't play the normal duel, but he does play 3 1 2 a fair bit, right? So, could count him as well. Or minus morale ring, easy. Polish people played enough Heroes 3 to realize full potential of playing with more than one hero. <laughs> ah, anyone is responsible for the shitty governments they live under? I don't agree with that though. Like Carol. Mark my words. Good luck, have fun. And hopefully. I want to seven. Reset and let's go. Can you right click on Fafnir? Show skills. I mean, he starts with scholar and. Interference. Gremlins upgraded even, that's kinda good. I guess I keep this. Yeah, I probably keep this. I can get all three scrolls, mana, did he hear here? Then I tip it back well up, leave, I guess. I would leave without all the knowledge though. Mana region artipog. It's okay, but not one of the good ones here. Okay, he won on ones though. Mm. I mean, gremlins were very nice, but the bunker layout was a little eh. I get gremlins again, which is very nice, so I can upgrade right away then. Pick up as well, leave this behind, of course, and then go. TP as well, interesting. Guess I TP back, makes sense. And then I'm gonna plus. Where am I scroll? Ring of Vitality, ooh. Okay, where are my scrolls though? Are they both there? I really hope this doesn't go like this and I don't see one out. I don't think it's possible to not see one. Uh, I don't know. Do I have one here or something? Okay, that's, that's both, right? Yeah, that's both. Suppose I can fly, grab this again and go, okay. Uh, I would have liked to, yeah, I should have maybe taken a wood pile there. 
And again, I don't have gold either, so kind of whatever. I believe on day four, though, with a lot of mana, 150 gremlins, looks good. It's purple here, oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh-huh. Necro mid me. It's actually good for me. <coughs> because uh Titans are uh, pretty good and they don't require middle. I apparently have an elixir in biome as well, I think. It is a Naga dwelling, but on pirates. Huh? I do outspeed them though, so it might actually be worth doing. I'll also try to get a turf now. So I this, 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 day 5. Day 6 I could go here. Can I do this though? I wonder. Fucking morale. That's honestly fine. Ooh. Ooh, okay, that's saving me a lot of gold actually. That is saving me a lot of gold actually right now. Might roll into air then. Tap a Naga dwelling as well and guess I'm going for this next. I'm not really in a rush to get anything here so. Could also do the box end here and then go for the town from there. There's a lot of good things on that side. There's also a gremlin box over here so I might be able to do this into this. And around there, hmm. I guess this observatory is kind of useless because I would, but best see here. But I feel like a lookout tower does the same thing anyway. Cheater. Server is kind of screwed though. I could buy air, but do I want to? Probably not yet. At least I want advanced star first. That is good. That's also very good. Nice. I mean, I'm I'm kind of gongwazing this, aren't, uh, am I? <laughs> okay, that's another one. That's three Naga dwellings I see already. Damn. I have no wood though, so I need to be careful here, but... 117 town, 1 to 1 lookout tower. I can double build pretty easily with what I see already. And I just need wood. I have a lot of ore already. Not bad. And in that case, I probably grab this. Actually, no, I'll skip the crystal, go for a treasure instead, and I'll grab the gem pile with the gold here into town. I'll also upgrade the gremlins pretty soon. Or right away even, because I have advanced. That's gonna be a lot of HP for the gremlins too, which is amazing, so not bad. Uh, you caught, thank you for the follow as well. Much appreciated. One and Sherry is taking uh, the game slow though. I do wonder if I should go for titans here. If you can get titans like double built on week 2, it's 
basically an unlosable game pretty much basically unlosable we do have two naga banks that are good Might be able to pick up both even. Wait, hey, but I forgot. Forgot something. Forgot something. Nice. I mean, that's a lot of medusas, but that's still kind of nice. Check university. I uh, don't need to. <laughs> Alright, pretty good game so far, huh? That means I have a lot of extra resources here. Yeah, this is by all means a very high roll game. I'm just, I'm just gonna point that out there. I don't wanna hear about it, alright? <laughs> this is a very high roll game. Now I'd like to upgrade these, but... The God Tower might be better. Maybe it would badly though. This is uh, kind of nice as well. Another one, damn. I mean, I don't really know why I took Retail there, but... <laughs> I just wanted to lose a genie for no reason whatsoever, okay? Let's just put it like that. Retail for what? Don't question it. A helmet as well. Expert there already, interesting. I just wanna grab this, 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 and then I need to find wood next turn, I guess. Kinda badly. I could also go for this, no, but I want the Naga though. It's like Fizzy being confused about Armana killing things. <laughs> Alright. Like, this auto does everything. Wow, already. Jesus. Uh, sure, I guess. Alright, I need wood. And that's three gremlin boxes, probably. Damn. Damn, son. I mean, what the fuck are these Naga dwellings, yo? Art is as well everywhere, boxes as well, I don't even know. This is kinda nuts. Also have Expert DD already. And very good speed on Genies, so... That's probably Magi or Genies even, that as well. Hey, home tree. You have a wood mine down below, I actually do, and it's kinda good, it comes with comes with quite a few things there. I guess I could do this, 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 and then I have wood to build, and then I can build pretty easily, I just need one gem pile and I'm fine. So like a Naga Bank and it's already good enough. Yeah, I have like five turn. I mean I'll probably have at least six Naga dwellings this week. We've double built for sure here. And like an insane army. Are we on an actual win streak today? I mean, I won one game, then I lost one skill test. Does it count as a win streak? <laughs> I think it still counts as a win streak, right?
loga Now I can go for those boxes or I can go for the university I feel like the univer like I only need scouting and it's not that important this game Not gonna bother Magic good. I cannot take the wood pile though, but whatever. Golems good. Bounce logs now as well. Nice. And now I can start double building pretty easily here, so should be fine. You're going quasi premium here. Yeah. So this, this, this maybe. 11 attack, I mean 11 defense now so. Twenty-nine. Is this actually three gremlin boxes? That would be kinda nuts. Okay, I did not expect a tier 3 box there, but sure, I guess. Sure, I guess. What is is middle? Necro. So I don't care about either one of the towns here, I guess. 500 gremlins soon? Yeah. But I didn't get expert now. Oh well. I guess I could stay here, but do I want to? I mean, this is Magi. Would be nice power stack, but they're gonna kill a fair bit of army. Maybe a genie or two. It's not really worth. Yeah, screw that box, honestly. I'd rather get mana anyway. Sci Horde could be genies? I believe so, yes, but. I need a wood pile right now. One for plus twenty, all right. I'm really hoping there's a wood pile here, and there is, but I won't get a town, I think. Yeah, Sadek. Anyway, needed that, so whatever. I'm not even sure if I can double build. I need to get the Naga Bank right now. Uh, fuck. Here, 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 maybe. Or one stock. Can I not find the stockpile? I have one there, actually. Okay. Or I can grab this. I 
find another one of those as well. Don't have another one, right? Nope. Okay. Um, Kinda expensive, but I think fine. Five dwellings, and I can grab a sixth here. And that's like the worst positioning ever, but I still reach, so that's fine. I guess offense makes sense at this point. Minimum as well, whatever. I mean, I got like the mean results here pretty much, but it's still enough. It is still enough. Okay, not bad. Pretty amazing army. I double build with five dwellings. Not the best, I guess. Could have had six, but... So I guess five is still good enough. Do not have one of the towns, though. That's a bit annoying. Imagine playing Draco on this game. Yeah. That'd been kind of interesting. He has four towns as well, and I can see his army, so he's going behemoth actually, surprisingly, here. Okay. He does have a million boxes, by the looks of it, at least two ogres as well, and he picked up the library too. Which actually I didn't even find. Huh. Gungwas did it up week one to Kiraha it down week two. Ah, I mean, this is fine still. The fact that all of these were minimum though, not the best scenario obviously, but I still think this is perfectly fine. Would like to get the uh, scouting though. Then again, I'm gonna have Elixir almost guaranteed this game. I already have a lot of good stats here, so I don't think it even matters, but let's see. But yeah, you can get a necro necromancy scholar here. He's still in biome, going for something south of his town, sure. The what do I do? Do I break? I think I'll go straight to break here. Makes sense. I have 19 nagas, but I can't afford them. I don't think I've never ever seen a necro hut in duo. I think I have. And I know for a fact I got necro scholars. I even accepted them by mistake before, but I'm not sure. Probably have seen necro huts as well. It's not a banned skill, right? So you are supposed to be able to learn it. Another hut. Hmm. No, but the thing is, if the scholars are there, I think the huts are there as well. Probably is guaranteed, I would say. So. <coughs> mm. 
Okay, I do not have you air. It's a bit annoying. Deploy. I have to skip that. Okay, this is a very, very nice break here for me. And I have a goose right away. Interesting. So I can go for this and a goose after. Should be more or less free with haste as well, which is amazing. He won't reach anything, so... Castle towns. Huh? Castle like towns. Huh? Have enough mana for a turn, so whatever. Me gain timing rushing this fool. The thing is, I would rush it if I had scouting, but I don't. So I might need to have a different approach for this game. There is a castle zone, which is interesting. I haven't uh, realized this yet. Which means I might want to go for this side town, actually. Also, where is my library? Where is my utopia? That is the question, huh? That is the question, huh? Is he Krelion? No, he's Shiva. You're scouting in uni? I might, but this uni is not fun to dig out. It's like two DDs for a university there, like. So this player could hire a, hire all a map to win. Yeah. There's rally flag on the way. There is, but doesn't help that much. The problem with this is the fact that you have to DD here, then you have to pick up the box, then another 200 moves. Like you spent 500 plus moves for a university, basically, and that's without the fact that you have to fly into DD here already. So you're wasting an entire turn for it. I don't think that's very good. At this point, though. My skill tree might suffer a bit. Uh, Tom Koo, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Not everyone thinks decent starts at 800. Hmm? Might want to build this up right away. But in that case, I need six markets. Do I actually go for this town and then down and then try to play off both sides with the castle biome? I see elixirs actually. It's kind of interesting. So copy him as well. That's five towns, so... Their morale sucked. That's kind of nice, but too late, though. Are we? Minus 20. I do get scouting, though. Okay. I mean, those didn't matter, I was gonna throw them away anyway, but the morale there kinda lost me quite a few magic for no reason though. Sucks a little bit. It's actually a decent stack of vampires already. Need water. Yeah, 
This is kind of a bad idea, but I'll do it regardless, I guess. Yeah, two hundred, Jesus. One. Oh well. Tom of Earth played to die in like actually a decent top though. Alright, we're in full throw mode. Why? I need Utopia to buy Nagas, I need Nagas to do fights. I get Nagas, I kill the entire map with. I have more interference even, so I'm finding almost everything. Then again, I actually don't even pick this up because I can't. There's no point. First throw army, second throw game. What do you mean army? The army that matters is Nagas and that's it. Magi maybe and uh, vampires and ghosties and whatnot that I'll get. Everything else is literally throwable. He does have the South Town though. I need to see stats as well. Can I roll into water? That would be nice though. Definitely doesn't have middle. He might have double mana though. But even then. He has no stats either. I guess I'm pushing straight to middle here and I'll go with all these troops. He doesn't have middle either. Hmm. Port of the wrong town. Tom's awesome. Okay, can I actually reach that elixir now and then attack middle as well, I wonder? If I can, the game is in the bag, but... Let's so get the uh, viewer as well. Expert is good, this is good. So yeah, he's pushing. Uh, Really? That's frustrating a little bit. Charm there as well, so that's full interference, that's Copium too. Hmm. Not bad, alright. I mean at this point it looks really nice. I have full interference, I have an Air Tom, and that's... I mean I don't really have any stats, but he doesn't have any stats either yet, so... I'm fairly certain he's not going to defend here, full elixir, I know, I know, both of these are uh, vials that I need here. 
So I can basically grab that and then pick this up and probably push towards him already. In this case I might actually backtrack, grab this charm plus box DD DD into the town. Or I can grab Copium maybe, it's also kind of good. I do think I want to attack this town this week for sure. The question is, can I? I mean day 4, day 5, day 6, I would push, day 7 I would attack, maybe through the library. How much power will you have in Finalka? I don't know. Depends if I find some stats next turn or not. Good evening, man friend. How much power will he? Oh, he is not gonna have more than 5 power here, probably. Then again, I mean, I'm not going for 75, I'm going for 65, so he might have like 10 power or something, but... It's, uh, it's irrelevant anyway. I might want to upgrade the golems too, though. I might also want to pick up something like this. Too bad Titan Dwelling suck this game, though. He's defending? What? Does he have any power? Any mana, I mean. Okay, there's a lion shield on the way, that's good. Did he double mana? How does he even reach this, actually? Jesus. As a ghost even. 90 mana, 37 birds. Uh I mean his stats are an insane kinda, but does it matter? We have 16 power. Less, less even, actually like 14 power or something. I think I'm winning this, I'm not sure. The fact that he has ghosties is very annoying though. Can't protect if he has an air tomb. But he has a lot of behemoths. If I don't attack now, I might be in trouble. So I think this might be my best bet. Have haste as well, so... 14 power, let's see. I mean, if I haste, I'll go potentially first. Does he have an error? No. Hmm. That means he can summon, though. Is he winning this? I think I'm winning this, still. Air shield. For three orcs, you air shield. Wow, well, questionable. Very questionable. Can't really come out. Maybe I should have... Hmm. 
Throw third first. No, but like he does 600 damage, do I care about chains here? Some of are worse actually. Some meteor. This opens up, so I get to smack him. That's nice. And I need to kill these as well though. Rare Thunderbirds. <laughs> then he missed morals on them. Okay, that might be game changing actually. That might be game changing actually. Can kill almost all of them now. I feel like hitting here might be better. Yeah, I hit here and I only get hit by like half of these units. I mean... That dies. He's gonna summon like 50 elementals, but I don't think that wins against this, so that's fine. Unlock, huh? Can't reach. Shields up. I'll be honest, I think I might just want to smack a Meteor on the Nagas here. Yeah, the Miss Morales are screwing him over hard. I mean, at this point, this is 100%. He has one summon now, but I don't think that does anything. The Gremlins and the Magi finish this easily and I have the golems in still so uh, I can also lightning bolt the summons coming out I don't even need to do anything else he had everything though Jesus insane stats air tom uh, water tom even but he had ghosties and that screwed him over so hard actually lightning bolts me did he just die though yeah I'm pretty sure he just died though Look at that, he had best in slot artists with a goose even. What the fuck, man? Wow. Gungwazi starting to kill a throw into Gungwazi, Miss Moral opponent to death. I read this game 7 out of 10. <laughs> I think one Miss Moral lost the game. <laughs> eh, I wonder. He just leave the game. Brother. You can just GG out. All right, anyway. Mm -mm -mm.